What is up guys, Tursi Wurti here. And welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to be doing another tutorial for our Minecraft modded series. And uh, yeah, we need to fix the issue that we had in the last video. Uh, the last video was a little too long um, for me to try and fit it in there. I didn't want to make it any longer than it already was. It was already almost an hour, which is longer than I wanted it to be. But it's it's fine. As long as it's not longer than an hour, it's okay. So, yeah, we need to come in here and we need to fix this quick move stack method. Now, luckily, the fix for this is fairly easy. However, the main issue is not with this method itself. It's actually with the constructor. And this is something I did mess up in the video, completely not realizing it. So, essentially what's happening here is when we call this add slot method, if we, if we just look in here, you can see that it sets the sort of, um, it adds it to the list of slots that are inside of this container. Now the thing is with that is when we come into here, you can see we are using that slot size and we are sort of using those slots. We're not dealing with the specific inventories slots. So basically what I mean is we're doing things in a really weird order. So if you think about it like this, there's two indexes that are happening here. There's an index inside of that inventory, which is this index we have here. And there's also an index of when we're adding this slot. So for example, this would be the first slot that's added to the slots. And then this is the second slot. And then we come back to here. This is the third slot. This is the fourth slot, etc., etc., until this gets to 36. And then from there, we're just adding these slots. So basically, we need to do this um, slightly differently. First of all, what we're actually going to want to do is invert both of these loops. So we're going to want to change column to row and row to column. And basically the reason is we need the inventory to go um, left to right instead of up to down. By doing the columns first, that means it's going vertically first. So we just need, this is very simple, we just need to flip these around. Let's put the row loop first. And obviously that gives us an error here. That's fine because we're going to remove that. Okay, and let's save that, let that format. So we're actually gonna wanna move this hotbar loop to its own loop so that we can keep the indexes in the correct position. So obviously we want these ones to be first. So we can go, for example, for int column is equal zero, column is less than nine, column plus plus and then we can just add our hotbar slots like that and the other thing we need to do is we just need to move this loop here we need to get rid of that and we just need to move it just below here so just above the inventory we should always add our inventory before the player inventory and we also need to just flip this loop again like we did before there we go. The final thing we need to go ahead and do is to come down here into our quick move stack. And we're going to want to change uh, a tiny little thing. So for example, right here where we specify the size, we're going to want to change that to 27. So that is the size of our inventory. And we're going to want to do that everywhere where size is. So once again here, um, we're going to want to use 27. And also, we're going to want to use 27 here instead of this 0. So 27. In fact, 
Okay, this might cause us some issues too. So let's completely rewrite this. This will make it a little bit simpler to understand. So let's first create our sort of returning stack. So the stack that we want to return from this method. And I, I, I just like to call that rep stack. And that'll be item stack dot empty. So we just have a blank stack. And let's just return that. So return ret stack. OK, then we want to just get the slot that is at the index. So final slot slot is equal to this dot get slots and index. Uh, I don't know that get slot is exactly. No, that's fine. OK, we, yeah, we can use that and we can just remove the get slot. OK, then we want to check if the slot has an item. Right, so if slot has item, then we can continue. Now, if it has an item, let's try and get that item. So we want the final item stack item is equal slot dot get item. There we go. Now we have the item that is in the slot. Now we want to make the return stack a copy of that item. So rat stack is equal item dot copy fantastic now if index so if our slot index is less than 27 so if it's inside of our inventory since we did our loop first then we're going to want to do some logic now this is where i should mention if your inventory is not 27 slots then you're going to want to obviously change this 27 to something else so for example if you had 4 by 9 instead of 3 by 9 you would have 36 but obviously we have 27 and then let's check if not move item sack 2 and we're going to say item we're going to try and put it at index 27. And then we're going to put this dot slots dot size. And we're going to put in true for this boolean. And if that happens, we're just going to return item stack dot empty. So basically what this will try and do is it will try and move this item stack to the 27th slot um, out of the sort of slot size. So it'll, it'll move it between 27 and the slot size is basically how that works. And if it can't do that, so we actually need to come back out to this if statement right here. And instead, we're going to say else if, and we're going to try and move it again. So we're going to go move item stack two item. This time, we're going to try and move it between zero and 27. So that will try and move it inside of our inventory. And this time, we need to pass false. And we're just going to return empty item stack if that's the case because that means it's successfully moved. I'm not actually sure what this boolean is. I will be honest. Um, I'm not sure what that boolean is. Either way, you need to put false in this one and true in this one. Uh, I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments what that one is. And if neither of those worked, we want to check if the item is empty. So if the item is empty, then we're going to do slot dot set item stack dot empty. And if it's not, so we're going to say, I'll oh, put that semicolon back. We're going to say else slot dot set changed. So that means the slot has now been updated. And that should be it, actually. 
So we do our loops here. Those all should be fine. And then we do these, which is the player inventory. Then we do the hotbar. Actually, okay, thinking about it, we probably want to do the hotbar before the player inventory. Let's test this, see if this works first. And if it doesn't work, we'll try and move this to before the player inventory. So I'll see you guys when the game loads. Okay, as you can see, we are now back in the game and we have our chest. So if I go ahead and I shift right click, that does now work, or shift left click, not right click. Oh no, right click works as well. Interesting. Anyways, those now transfer correctly. Now let's try and fill up our hotbar and see what happens. Okay, so that now goes to there. Now let's fill that slot and it goes to there. So that's correct. Now let's fill this slot and it should come to here. That is now correct. Um, there's a bunch of different circumstances that could happen here, I guess, that uh, could cause issues. But either way, that seems to work perfectly okay. Yeah. Um, wait, is that? Okay, one thing that I also have forgotten to do clearly is render the background here. So as you can see, it's all um, light. Whereas, for example, if we open a chest, let's grab a chest, you can see it goes all dark. Let's just really quickly have a look and see if we can fix that. So in our render background method, we want to just call render background and pass in the stack. And that should, yes, that does now indeed fix that tiny little issue. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys did find this tutorial useful. Obviously we've now fixed that bug. Uh, I'm gonna save the container syncing for the next video as I wanted to keep this one separate so that we could easily, um, so anyone could easily access this one. And uh, yeah, um, if you did like this video, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe if you really enjoyed or really found it useful. Please be sure to share it around. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Spirit. Spirit.